I want to talk a little bit about the art process behind Mara. Project Mara is a very special project for us because although it is quite a concise project, we're attempting to do lots of things that we've never attempted before. And one of those things is to capture reality obsessively. So the game is set in one location, an apartment, a real world location, and the art team's goal is to recreate this apartment perfectly. And to do this, we first start with materials. So we got a bunch of material samples from the apartment, wood, carpet, etc., wallpaper, and photographed them under lots of different lighting conditions. And we scanned a bunch of it as well using a home-built scanner that our technical art director, Matt, created. And with this reference, we then generated uh, procedural shaders and detail maps to attempt to recreate the materials as true to life as possible. But a funny thing happens when you get that close to a material, you know, when you get as close as a human eye can possibly see. Things that seem flat from afar become 3D. You start to see details, you start to see edges, edge wear, you see lint, you see dirt, you see all kinds of stuff that is 3D geometry. So materials for us are no longer simply flat things. They're, they're things that blend between shaders and 3D geometry. So developing these shaders has been a long and arduous process that took our artists several months. But in the end, we got pretty damn good results in terms of recreating these materials true to life. But then the next challenge is to recreate the whole of the apartment, uh, the dimensions of the apartment. And this is trickier than it sounds. You can't just go around with a measuring tape. It's just not accurate enough and there's not enough detail that you capture. And we tried various different techniques with very mixed results. So in the end, we contacted Clear Angle, who specialize in this kind of stuff. And they spent a whole day scanning the apartment with their LiDAR scanners. And they provided us with some of the best reference we've ever seen. A point cloud of the entirety of the apartment down to every little detail. So with this reference in hand, the challenge for the artist is to create what we achieved on a micro scale with these materials, but across the whole apartment. And there's no way you can do this by hand. It has to be procedurally generated. So all of our environment artists dived into procedural tools and Houdini in particular, and started to build and develop their own tools with simple interfaces so that we could scale these materials and features across the whole of the apartment. So there's, a, there's this kind of a shift going on within Ninja Theory and the way we create art. Artists are not there to just create an object. They're there to create systems that can create that object and infinite variations of that object. Um, so it's an entirely different approach that is laying the foundation for all of our projects across the studio and all of our future projects. We're aiming for an experience that feels real, that doesn't feel like a game and it doesn't feel like a movie, but something altogether different. And there's a power in tricking the mind into believing it's real before then subverting it so that you experience the mind-bending strangeness and horror of the world that Mara inhabits. <laughs> 